Everyone, Matt here from Docs Running. Today, we're going to do a sub two on the Nike Vaporfly Next Percent 3. So this is Nike's flagship distance racing shoe for all kinds of events, and you'll see it on people for all everything from the mile all the way up to the marathon. It is now in its, this is supposed to be fifth iteration, third iteration, technically. Um, and things have continued to improve. They made a lot of changes to this version from the previous one. Uppers change, sole has changed. Still using Zuma X is it's a little bit different, but let's get into specs first. Men's size nine is coming in at lighter, six and a half ounces for men's size nine, 5.6 ounces for women's size eight. There is full length Zoom X, still the carbon plate in there. The stack height is 38 in the heel, 30 in the forefoot per running warehouse for an eight millimeter drop. So some things, you know, fairly standard right there. Um, new knit mesh they're using that is incredibly breathable and you can see directly through it. Fairly high volume, which was surprising to me. Snug heel, stiff heel counter, but they're still using the stuff to kind of unload the heel a little bit. No issues with security, which has been really nice, but little, lots of extra volume in the forefoot. So if you need that and you need a little extra width, it is right there for you. The sole is pretty classic. Zoom X, I actually found this firm when I tried it on. It took about 10 to 15 miles for this to break in and I get, for me to get that kind of classic Zoom X feeling. It feels a little bit firmer than previous Vaporflies. So if you like that, that's great. And if you don't, just know it, it does take a little bit to break in. It is not a stable shoe. I do like the forefoot. Forefoot stays, stays wider. The There's some kind of like mini lugs and better traction here. So people that are taking this for cross country, which I wouldn't suggest, but you do anyway, some much better traction here. The midfoot and heel are way narrower. Yes, there's a higher arch in here. Um, very mild sidewall, but it is super narrow through here. So people that need stability or it's guidance through here, you're not going to get that. People that get up on your forefoot, you're going to be better. But this is the Vaporfly. It's still fast. It's still fun. Not my top racing shoe for me personally, but a lot of people are still going to like this.